Tell has actually come to the table with a comp- with an attempt at a competitor competitor to Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm not sure how much this <laughs> is going to catch on. Maybe with Jeez. something like Neverware <laughs> loaded onto it. Yeah. But so it so they came out with their own single board computer to compete. Um, the baseline device comes with a Celeron N4020 dual core CPU. Um, it has some uh, four gig of RAM and 64 gig of flash. What I thought was interesting, and the thing that that I always thought was kind of cool about the um, Raspberry Pi was, you know, you could kind of load up SD cards and pull them off. This has flash RAM. Hmm. Um, they do offer the ability to upgrade to um, like a the NVMe M dot M dot two, like which is like the flash drive storage. But I mean, you look at like I feel like you're just begging for hey, okay, now that I got this thing, I'm gonna have to spend another two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars yeah. on things. Yeah. So so this thing starts at a hundred dollars. Versus a Raspberry Pi that starts at thirty five just for the board, um, or ten for the zero. <laughs> yeah, ten for the zero, and uh, it, it, I I feel like it's a, a give me a performance comparison between this and a Raspberry Pi. So I'm it, guessing this is going to come out on top of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, because these will run Windows ten. In fact, the ninety nine dollar comes with Ubuntu Linux pre-installed still, and going up to the hundred and forty. I, I need a performance look. Like let me know what RetroPie is gonna gonna do on there. Like <laughs> you know, something like that. Well, if you load it on Linux, I'm guessing it's not gonna do too bad. I'm guessing it may actually outperform the Raspberry Pi ARM chip. And the other thing is is this is gonna be X eighty six based. Mm. So you're probably gonna be able to run enough if you're if you're just the average person that doesn't want to have to deal with linux as much you could probably load other interesting stuff the other thing that i thought was interesting is that it has the same what do they call it a hat the pin configuration that allows you to put like additional boards on your raspberry pi oh the board um, okay yeah the the this one has the exact same configuration i thought you were about to tell me that i could swap cpus just like the old pentium days Oh, no, that would be super cool. No, but it has the same 40-pin GPIO. So they're saying that, hey, if you want to b- build whatever, you can use the same Raspberry Pi add-on stuff hmm. with this. But obviously, you're not getting Raspbian or any of the, I, the, what is it, the Buster I, OS or whatever it is. I'd be very curious. It, it reminds me of the... I, I know they're kind of aiming for the Raspberry Pi thing, but it reminds me of the old Intel Nux. Um, that I was eyeballing for a little bit as uh, some uh, uh, Mac Mini replacements for the studio, uh, you know, the Skype machines, things like that. I still like to do that rather than just having like a laptop situation like we have with you guys. But um, uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So it, it really does kind of feel like a little bit of like, hey, what do we do with all of these Celeron chips? Here we go. Education. Um, <laughs> oh, and just load up your Neverware build of. Uh, Chrome and <laughs> exactly, exactly. I want a cheap computer for the office or to do a task, uh, and, and it is. But unfortunately, um, most of the things I think people would do that for, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, trying to get a cheap computer to do a task are are, are going to be well served already with the Raspberry Pi, um, um, idea. So, but anyways, I. I Interesting to see the competition. If only they could get the price down a little bit, right? 